Class Structure and Components, Part 1 In this video, I am going to explain about various components of a Java class, like packages, import statements, classes and objects, fields, methods. By the end of the video, you will have clear understanding on these components of a Java class and why we need them. You will also know how to create those components. What is package? Package is for organizing the Java files. Imagine how the books are arranged in a library in different racks. Each rack belongs to a topic, and they contain books related to that topic, is it not? This will help us to pick up a book easily. For this same reason, we have packages, which is like a rack where we can place related Java files. Import statements. Import statements are used to tell Java where to find a class when the class is not found in the current Java file. For example, your friend who worked in Project A earlier has created an awesome class called Calculate Price, which can be reused in the current Project B as well. In this scenario, you can use import statements to import the Calculate Price class. What are classes and objects? Class is like a template for creating objects. Class may contain variables, which stores the state. It may also contain methods, which provides implementations using variables. For example, when making a pizza, you can think of pizza as the class. Say you and your best friend John are going to order pizza. Your pizza and John's pizza are objects. Pizza in general, or the pizza recipe, is like a class. It is like a template that we can use to create objects. What are fields? Fields are like variables. It can be associated to a value which holds the state. There are multiple different field types like byte, short, int, long, float, double, string, char, boolean. What are methods? Methods are like functions or procedures which uses the variables and implements some functionality. For example, we may have a method called add toppings in the pizza class to add toppings to the pizza ordered. In this video, we saw about different components of class, how to create them, and why do we need them. In the next video, we will look at the class structure and components, part two.